All right, so once you're logged into Edpuzzle, you should see a folder under my content, or you may just see all the videos there that were shared with you through um, Edpuzzle support. So we'll go to my content at the top. You may have it here in a folder. I have mine in a folder, but it should be a total of nine videos that you have. All right, so we're gonna click on the checkbox next to each of the nine videos. All right, so we've got all nine videos checked now, and you've already created a class that you were showing me yesterday, so you'll click on the blue button up here, Assign and Share, and we want to assign it to whatever class that you have named. Uh, the one that you were showing me yesterday worked fine, so we click on that class. If you wanna prevent skipping, you can, that way the students can't skip forward in the video to content they have not watched, but they can go back if they wanna do that. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend setting a due date because it'll probably get confusing with the 48 hour grace period and everything that um, we're going to as a department. So I probably wouldn't do the due date, but that's up to you. It might get a little confusing. Uh, so we're going to click send once you have your class checked here. We're going to click send. And under your classes, if you click on your class, you should see all of the videos now as lessons, and it says due soon, just because you don't have a due date up there. But that's okay. Um, again, uh, you just run the report whenever you, um, you know, the 48 hour grace period, you know, you look at the progress, whenever that 48 hour grace period goes by, and you know, if they haven't done it, then oh well, they get a zero. <laughs> so um, here, under each one, they're not really in order per se, but they don't worry about that, they'll actually, access the videos from Moodle. So let's just try our first one here to uh, embed it into Moodle because you will need your embed links, right? So we'll scroll down the first one here it says is Emerging Technology Landscape. So we're gonna click on the white share button here. And I actually usually change this to large just so the window can be a little bit bigger. Most people have pretty big screens these days. And I'm going to click and control C to copy this embed link. And I'm gonna go over to Moodle in our Moodle class in the first section here. Um, I've got each of the videos named, so it shouldn't be too much of a, um, it should match up pretty well. Um, so here under the Ed Puzzle Quiz, the Emerging Technology Landscape, I'm gonna to go to Edit Settings for that assignment link. I'm going to scroll down to the page content section and you can notice I've already deleted out of mine so it'll say not found so you'll probably see that on yours. I'm going to click this show more buttons button here and then I'm going to click the HTML tag button and this is the old link so I can get rid of that one and I'm just going to copy and pay or sorry paste the one that I um, copied re-click the HTML button and voila, you should see your new link there for the video. All right, so then you just go to save and return the course. I'm gonna click cancel just for the purposes, you know, so I don't update yours, but so click save and return the course. And then you'll wanna repeat that step for all of the other eight videos. It's nine total, but again, as you go through them, you should be able to see, you know, kids react to old computers, matches up with the kids react to old computers one and you'll just repeat you know rinse and repeat go to share change it to large copy and paste this embed link over to Moodle for that one um, it only takes a couple seconds you, the questions are already in there uh, to check the progress again after the 48 hour grace period goes by you know you just go to progress and you'll see all your students here if they added themselves correctly to your class using that um, link that we put in your class at the top which is right here. They can either click that link directly or they can type in the Zillabit or whatever, Z-I-L-A-B-E-T. They can click that in there to be added to your uh, Edpuzzle um, classroom. All right, so if you have any other questions, just let me know.